What's up? <laughs> We're back on another little adventure, another really fun adventure, guys. <laughs> so we're in Nashville, Tennessee for this beautiful girl's 30th birthday. Uh, thanks. Yes. Yes, so we're in Nashville to celebrate my big 30th and I am so excited. We have two townhomes rented and we have a bunch of friends coming so that we could go out and hang out and celebrate and I am just so excited. I, I'm so thankful that we get to do this. Yes, it's gonna be so fun. Meg has planned the perfect weekend. She has a oh, lot of great stuff one. on the itinerary. We're gonna go to Justin Timberlake's restaurant, which I'm upset with Justin Timberlake so I'm so we excited to go there <laughs> and see his place because it looks so beautiful what's the name of it again Meg? Uh, the 1230 Club. The 1230 Club yeah we're so pumped for this weekend this stay is amazing we actually booked it through good night stay yeah. and it's so cool because if you have like a bachelor bachelorette group if you're trying to do a dual guys girls type thing yes. the one side is a little more girly the other then, side then, is then more masculine. masculine on the other side and, and what's really cool though is you can rent them separately or together or you can actually book like all four or five townhomes that are in a row here and have like a huge stay and each bedroom has like or each townhome has like four bedrooms which is really awesome everyone's got their own bathroom like it's the perfect setup and if you can't tell we're on a rooftop and they've got a super cool rooftop to hang yeah. out at so. super cool we're definitely gonna be hanging out up here for sure I, I want to get some drone shots once uh, maybe tomorrow with, with all yeah. this hanging out up here but yeah it's a perfect spot you do Good yeah. job, buddy. Thank you. I'm excited. Yeah. And for as far as the weekend goes, we have a lot of really cool restaurants that are top rated and some of my personal favorites from when I've been here before. Lots of picturesque spots and really, really good food. So I'm very excited. And of course, we got to have a night out on Broadway. So we're doing that tomorrow. So yeah. I'm, I'm pumped. It's been a while since I've been to Nashville since 2019. So I'm excited to be back here and, yeah, and explore. Been, yeah, since, or no, 2020. Since COVID. Right yeah. before COVID hit, we were here. I'm excited to be here and, and explore and I know Nashville's changed a bunch since then. It's a growing city. I think it's one of the biggest growing cities in the country. Yes, it's insane. So I that's mean, pretty cool. Yeah. They've got a lot of fun stuff to do and I'm excited to do your itinerary and, and do all the fun stuff because Meg's excited. killed it. So yeah, we're excited to take you guys along and uh, we'll show what we get into. Yeah. So new day here in Nashville. We ended up going downtown last night and we went out to eat to this place called The Dutch. And it was really good. It was so fancy. It was beautiful. The vibes in there were really awesome. We ended up going there because a lot of the places that we noticed downtown were closing kind of early around nine. And so we were looking around around eight o'clock and didn't want to hop in somewhere when they were about to close. But the Dutch ended up being a clutch spot because it was really, really good. I ended up getting a sweet tea chicken and it was amazing. I loved mine. 
Megan got a cheeseburger. She loved hers also. Everyone loved their meals. It was a really good spot. So recommend that spot if you're interested in, in the area. And that place is near the Gulch. So you're close to a bunch of really good stuff. After we ate, we ended up walking over to Penn's Mechanical. And guys, that place is a must. That is a must stop when you're in Nashville. It is so fun. There's so much to do. The drinks are super affordable. And honestly, almost all the games are either cheap or free. So I believe the, the pinballs was, was free. The arcade games were free. The life-size Pong was free. So a bunch of awesome, fun stuff to do is free. We ended up playing a couple of games. We ended up doing the, uh, the large set Jenga, which was fun. I ended up actually failing and I was the one that crashed it all. Our, I don't think our camera caught it. And then we played some pinball games. We played the arcade games. They, they have this bowling type thing and that's really the only thing that you pay for. It's $8 a person. Uh, it did have a pretty long wait but it's not like actual bowling. I forget what it's called, but the balls are really small and uh, the pins are also small and the distance is pretty short, but it looked like fun, but we didn't end up signing up just because it was a little bit of a wait. We did end up playing the life-size Pong game and that was a lot of fun. Megan was crushing it, but Grayson and Jules were the ones actually killing it. They like were running the table on us, but it was a lot of fun to have that and just relax and have fun together. So, and then we both got some really cool drinks. I got the S'mores whiskey drink and that was amazing. I ended up getting two of those because it was so good. Megan had a sugar rocky like drink and it was really good and then she got this popsicle drink that was also really good. Everyone loved it and the drinks were only 12 bucks which is crazy. Typically if you get like a cocktail it's usually way more expensive than that. Then we came home and we all crashed because we were so tired. This morning I ended up waking up early and drove over to Krispy Kreme and got everyone some Krispy Kreme donuts and some fruit and some coffee. So we all just took it really easy this morning and slow pace and we got ready and now we're actually about to head out to downtown to go to Justin Timberlake's spot. Megan has made reservations for us at his place called the 1230 Club and I am so pumped. That place looks absolutely beautiful. The, the design, the style, the vibes, even the food, the menu looks amazing. So I can't wait to go downtown and try it out because I know it's gonna be really, really good. We're getting ready now and we're gonna head that way and we'll show you what we get into. So we made it back from downtown. Yep. Meg, we... what did you think about Justin Timberlake's spot? Oh, it was so great. I had a great time. I hope you did too, because oh, it was it. so cool. Um, we had reservations, which 
booking that place was like incredible. They were so sweet, so kind, so accommodating. I was super excited to check it out. And we will, when you walk in, like first thing, it is just so cool. So Justin Timberlake and like vibey, swanky, like club feel. Um, and we were on the honky tonk level. So it was live music and we had a really great table with a nice booth seating and we just had the best time. That food was incredible. I loved mine. I ended yes. up getting the Cobb salad and it was amazing. <laughs> it, they, they did something crazy on me. They tossed it in ranch dressing. And then oh. they put a French dressing on the side. And I've never had French dressing, but the oh, combo really? is amazing. French dressing is great. Yeah, that was a nice combo. I loved it. The Yeah, the vibes are crazy cool. So yes. loved it. But what'd you get to eat, Mac? And so I got the biscuits and gravy, which was so delicious. You get biscuits and gravy with your eggs, however you like them prepared, and then um, potatoes. And yeah, that's it. It was so good. So, so good. We also got the pretzels, which this is what I saw on all the reviews online, on Yelp, Google. Everyone was raving about these pretzels and the cheese fondue that you dip it in, and they were right. It was so good. That was probably my favorite thing, was yeah. the pretzels. That was amazing. It's it was like appetizer. these little pretzel bites yes. with this cheese, and it was I think it's provolone so fondue. Um, yeah. It was so, so Incredible, yummy. yeah. The drinks Loved were it. great. I got an Italian peach mimosa, and that was so yummy. Yeah. So good. Everyone loved theirs. Everyone, yes, yeah. everyone, everyone, everyone said that they loved their food, too. their drinks, yes. everything, their appetizers. So, and the yeah, like I said, the vibes are really cool. And yeah, yeah like Megan said, the, the customer service, it was Top like- Top notch. Insane. And they brought me out a free Prosecco, um, a glass of wine. Well, uh, after I finished my mimosa, they brought that out on the house for my birthday, which was so nice. Yeah. And um, and then, so there's multiple levels. You can go to the supper club, I think is what it's called, which is a little more fancy, um, up above the honky tonk where we were. And then we went to the rooftop as well that's on the same level as the supper club. And it is beautiful. They have a great view of downtown Broadway where you can get some really great photos. And that bar is so stunning. Yeah. Definitely recommend. We'll throw some of those photos in right here. Yeah. But yeah, so after we ate though, we actually walked around, did some shopping. Yeah, oh yeah. We went mm -hmm. to some really cool stores right there. I've never been yes. to that so spot. so the area is called Fifth and Broadway. So it's shopping and restaurants, um, lots of cool places to go, lots of great photo spots. We enjoyed it. We always love it. I actually had gone with some of my friends that are here um, in the past, and it's always a go-to spot. So highly recommend Fifth and Broadway. Yeah, and Meg got her a dress for tonight, which is super exciting. Yes. I, I found me a hat to do that. that I was excited about. We yeah. went into Tacovas, I tried on some some boots. Yeah, we got a new I might have to get me some Carhartt boots. beanie. Got a new so we Carhartt did a little shopping beanie. spree. Yeah, it was nice. They got like a little thrift thrift store over there. Uh-huh. They've got cool. a really great um Nashville store that has like Nashville branding and mm -hmm. t-shirts and stuff. So we might Loved have to it. run back by and grab some because yeah. I just didn't want to buy it yet. Yeah, yeah. For I wanted sure. to look around we'll somewhere. Have to so pick up some stuff tomorrow. But yeah. But yes, I've had such a great time so far. I'm feeling very thankful and blessed for all of my people and everyone just being here and willing to come hang out and celebrate for my 30th so I'm just having a great time we're about to we're just hanging out on our stay having some drinks and eating some snacks and listening to some music and then we're heading to Broadway we're gonna grab some dinner at Hampton Social and then we're gonna go and enjoy Broadway yeah, I can't wait. That's gonna be a lot of fun. But yeah, we're uh, we're gonna hang out with the friends and do some birthday cake and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. we'll show what we get into. Yeah. Can't calm a hurricane with a kiss You can't catch lightning, you can't hush thunder You can't hold back a stubborn storm like this But she can Video? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
decision call everyone you know we found the evidence just don't let them see you when you jump across the fence somebody stole a beer truck it don't matter who it was grab a can and drink it up best keep your mouth shut man we're good to go yeah we hit the mother load there's more than enough for all of us somebody stole a beer truck in the creek you can get as rowdy as you damn near want to be don't build a bonfire so we made it home from nashville back home and cozy and tired and feeling extra thankful for such a fun weekend truly yeah it was it so was fun celebrating you your 30th it was a great time with friends and family Jeez. It was. It was so much fun. Um, I am just feeling extra blessed to have had such a great birthday um, and such a fun way to ring in my 30s. Yeah. Um, I'm now in my 30s era. Yeah, 30s girl. <laughs> Do I feel 30? No. <laughs> We're in the same decade again. Yep, back in the same decade. Yep. <laughs> So the last time we saw you, we were getting ready to head out to go downtown. But before that, we pulled out Megan's birthday cake. Yeah, so we everyone sang me happy birthday. We did the cake and I loved the cake. It was a huge hit and it looked great in the photos and it tasted amazing. Yeah. More importantly, it was a delicious cake. Yeah, that was some of the, no lie, that was probably the best icing I've ever tasted before. Yes, so it was uh, buttercream icing and it was confetti cake. Yeah. So it had sprinkles baked inside of the vanilla cake and it was incredible. There's yeah. a reason that is a top rated bakery in Nashville. Yeah. So baked on 8th. Highly recommend. Yes. Megan so got and got lots of photos. Yep. Megan and her friends had set up a little photo booth spot at mm -hmm. our stay, and we got a bunch of pictures there. Yes. Before yes. Before we went out with everyone dressed up in their Nashville outfits. Yeah, and our color scheme worked out so well. I had really thought long and hard about what colors I wanted. I love backdrops for photos and like balloons and everything so I knew I wanted to go big with that and make it like a disco theme disco cowgirl vibes so I made it all purples and pinks and silvers and um, iridescent colors and it turned out so good so shout out to Amazon yep. for that I'm gonna link it on our storefront if you want to go with the same color schemes so check that out if you're interested actually we'll throw some of those shots in right here oh yeah okay <laughs> Video. Oh, <yeah. laughs> After that, we all called an Uber and we headed downtown to mm -hmm. a restaurant Megan had reserved. Yeah, so dinner was at the Hampton Social, which if you haven't been, is an incredible restaurant. First of all, it's absolutely stunning. The yeah. whole place is picturesque. It is so, so beautiful. So many great photo spots. Um, they have really cool like uh, murals and photo ops oh, yeah. for you um and so we actually got to eat on the second floor and it was so good their food is amazing not only is it beautiful but it also serves great food yeah definitely we i loved, loved mine 
Um, Megan and I both got the salmon meals and they were both really good, but everybody- We were twinning a lot with our meals this yeah, weekend. <laughs> everybody really loved their meals. There were some lobster rolls involved, some, some pizza, some salad. A little bit of everything, yeah. yeah, burgers. One of the main things that they're known for is their seashells. So they serve a group drink in a seashell that's like super big and you can share it. I believe it's max four people, so it's four drinks total. And we got the I glitterally cannot, or I glitterly can't uh, drink, which is a rose with glitter in it. And so it's a glittery pink drink inside the big seashell, and it is always a hit. I've had it now two times, um, and also loved every food I've gotten at that yeah. place. So Megan's been pooping glitter for like the last two days. <laughs> not true. I, I know. Not even looked. I, I just made know. that up. <laughs> But maybe. <laughs> but no, that is a cool spot, very vibey, great Instagram photo spot, all the things. It's close to downtown, which is also very convenient because that's what we yes. did next. Yeah. We ended up walking downtown and hit up all the honky tonk bars. Yes, so we um, went to the honky tonks on Broadway, if you're unfamiliar, and there's just a line of bars, places to listen to music and dance and have so much fun. There are a few of my favorites. We started off at Tootsie's, um, and then we stopped in at Robert's and heard some more like classic country, and then to Honky Tonk Central, and that's where we ended up staying most of the night but tootsies and honky tonk central it is hard to beat yeah megan was loving tootsies because when we got there they were singing a lot of the the gretchen wilson's and miranda lambert's and there was this uh female singer and she was killing it with, she was so great she was really good i can't remember her name but i'll have to put it in here yeah they well, were a great band they actually her name was on the microphone so you'll see yeah the video. okay yeah but yeah they were they were really good and that's what's so cool about nashville is that everyone is so talented because they were artists that were trying to make it or they currently are still trying to make it or something like that you know and so you have incredible guitarists drummers mm -hmm. bassists backup singers lead singers everyone has an amazing voice there the guitarists were just shredding and it was so like, much talent oh my gosh it's insane. and that band was actually they looked to be like in their 20s to me so they were younger yeah. and killing it so killing good it. seriously so good so we that, that was a lot of fun time. and it was a Saturday night, so everyone was shoulder to shoulder, crammed in yes, tight. They also sang me happy birthday, which was really nice. That was cool. Well, Megan, we're going to sing you some happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. And then we went to Roberts, and Roberts is more of like an old timey Western. Like Western classics. Yeah, Western classics. I actually really enjoyed that spot. Mm -hmm. They played a lot of the old timey ones and the vibes are old timey. It's really known for their grilled cheeses. Yes, which we didn't get. We didn't get one this time. <laughs> we have before, but they mm -hmm. have some really good grilled cheeses there. So if you want a late night grilled cheese, that's a good spot to go. Yes. And then after that, we went to Honky Tonk Central and that was a really fun spot. Yes. Yes, we ended up ending the night there. We stayed at Honky Tonk Central for a while because they were absolutely crushing it. This band was insane. Oh, they yeah. were amazing. We were on level one and because they actually have four levels uh, at Honky Tonk Central and they're all a little different, but it was so great yeah. because they were playing so many hits, but also unique songs that like not everybody knows. The lead singer crowd surfed all the way across the room to the yeah. bar. They were able to do any type of music. Yeah, but yeah, there's so many great spots. You could literally spend your whole weekend bar hopping yes. downtown and probably not hit up all the bars if you really wanted to take it all in because yeah. there's so many really good ones. Oh yeah, definitely. Another one I really like is uh, Luke Bryan's bar. 
that's always a good one um and we didn't get to check out justin timberlake's bar the 1230 club at night yeah the lounge. so that's something that we would have liked to do um and then another place i had on my list that we didn't get to do was pushing daisies which is an underground margarita bar it's a little speakeasy yeah it's not considered a speakeasy that's, that's what they say online oh okay just kidding so it's super cool has a really cool vibe and supposedly the drinks are incredible and it's actually right next to 1230 club so next time we'll have to hit that up but you should add it to your itinerary yes definitely so yeah then after that we just got an uber and headed home went home slept woke up packed all of our stuff up and headed out so megan had a an itinerary for sunday and it was it was much more chill um a lot of people actually headed home on sunday morning so it ended up just being us and james's sister and brother-in-law and we headed to brunch so i actually had the buttermilk ranch on our itinerary for brunch but because of plans changing and the amount of people that were gonna come we decided to just head there and the wait was like no lie it was 150 100, minutes yeah the only thing you can do for the buttermilk ranch is to join the wait list yeah so because of our hectic morning we didn't end up joining it and got there and saw that wait time we were like yeah. no let's let's go somewhere else we went down to frothy mucky yes a really great spot highly recommend it as well we had been there before they've got amazing breakfast and amazing coffee yes loved it i got a breakfast sandwich with eggs bacon avocado it was cheese it was so good and me too i got the same thing you did get the same thing oh my gosh <laughs> megan was copying me all weekend bro i didn't copy you she's you like me. this 30 year old knows so i'm gonna copy him 30 year old yeah i'm 30 bro <laughs> anyways it was so good their lattes are amazing too yeah. i i love the flavors of their coffee love frothy monkey it was great we didn't yeah. have to wait long no, it, it was, was like less than 30 minutes customer service was great so after that we just walked around got some shopping in we went mm -hmm. to imogene and willie's yes and i got a really sick hat here meg hold the camera i want to go get it and show okay. them what i got <laughs> yeah so in 12 south there's a lot of really great restaurants and shopping and murals to take photos with um so we always enjoy walking around that area uh to do some shopping so i got this hat so good i'm so excited about that one it's, it's so, so good sick. It's i'm like definitely gonna be bag. stealing that and then i actually got this one the day before but mm -hmm. i love it too it's like a little corduroy style hat yeah um it's always Both hard great. for me to find hats and those were like perfect but yeah so we walked around and kept shopping and uh we ended up getting some photos in front of the nashville sign yep i feel like you have to do you that have to do it <laughs> we'll throw those in right here <laughs> It was fun. I love 12 South. We, we've we actually seen some celebrities in 12 South the last time we were there. Yes. We which did. is really funny. Yeah. We saw Thomas Rhett there. Thomas Rhett and his wife, which I've always been a fan of them together. Yeah. So that was really cool. It's a good spot to hang and shop and maybe see a little celeb. <laughs> yeah, it's a really cool area. They also have a vintage shop that we didn't go into this time. So you definitely have to check out the vintage shop that's there. A few places that we went into this time were Imogene and Willie, uh, Stony Clover, which is a really cool storefront. Great for a girls group trip. Um, they've got some really cool photo ops and also just really great stuff. And then Madewell, there's um, Draper James, which is Reese Witherspoon's store. Super cute spot. Really, yeah. really great quality clothes yeah yeah just a lot of great restaurants and shopping then after that we said goodbye to my sister and rich and we're so thankful for them they were so glad they came along they yes so awesome. they made the weekend extra special i love them so much yeah, i'm thankful sure. to have such a great sister-in-law and brother-in-law um yeah. they're the best truly yeah, they are amazing we love them so and much and we also love just being able to travel up to chattanooga and hang out with them and then pop over to nashville it's just a great little yeah place to go so for sure yeah and then we headed over to Hattie B's. Yes. I had to do it, guys. I had to go to Hattie that B's. That was all this guy. <laughs> yeah, because when we were in downtown, there's a Hattie B's, and the line was literally wrapped out the door around the corner. And I was like, man, that place must be the spot. So then I asked a couple of Uber drivers about it. They said it was the spot. So I was like, oh, man, I got to get some Nashville hot chicken. So swung by there, got us some to go. So we got some. I got some tenders 
with Nashville hot on them, fries, and a pimento cheese mac and cheese. Bruh. That pimento cheese mac and cheese is incredible. Yeah. Y'all know I don't like hot stuff, so yeah. I just got the regular chicken fingers and fries in the pimento cheese mac and yeah. cheese, and that was by far my favorite Bro, part. that place hits. It is so good. We loved it so much. I yeah. will definitely be going back. But yeah, it was a great weekend. Loved it. It was so awesome. I loved getting to be with our friends and family and celebrating your 30th was really special. Yes. Just shout out to everyone who came and made the weekend extra special. I am so, so, so appreciative. I had the best time bringing in my 30s. It's definitely a memorable trip. Yeah, for sure. And then today we actually have been hanging out and chilling, but today's also my dad's, would have been my dad's 90th birthday, which is so cool. I and know. I tell Megan, I, I, I truly believe this. Some of the best people are born at the end of January. <laughs> my dad was an amazing person, good guy, loved by so many. Megan, amazing person, loved by so many. <laughs> And I feel like there's so many people that I know and love that are born in January. And we, we went over to Waffle House, which was one of his favorite spots. So we we've have to do it. We've done this every year now for a while. And it's been a tradition now yeah. that we've started. One of his favorite spots, he would go there almost every day. So we went there and got a, a, a breakfast meal to remember him and celebrate him. And it's so crazy as we were sitting there getting the check they played the Bob Marley song. Every little thing is gonna be Don't all right. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. And I played that song. My dad had a really bad car accident years before he passed. And I remember driving to the hospital and that song came on and I just played it on repeat on my CD because I was like, everything's gonna be all right. Every, and, and that song always makes me think of him. And it's so crazy. They dropped off the check and the song came on and I was like, Oh man, that was the, like... The server actually put the song on the jukebox and the craziest part is that it just felt like an extra special night tonight at Waffle House because it was just us. We were the only people in there and the three people working were so friendly and so nice and just chatting it up with us and having a great time and then he walks over to the jukebox and puts the song on and the first one was Frank Sinatra, Fly Me to the Moon and then the Bob Marley song. Yeah. And as soon as James looked at me I was like what and he said it and the look on his face was just so sweet and it was just a special moment I of course started crying immediately yeah. I can't control it it was sweet it was <laughs> it a very was special very moment um, and I always like either write dad on my plate with what little bit of food I have left or Tonight I did 90 to celebrate his 90th. Yeah. And we always take a photo yeah. of him with it. And we'll, we'll throw those pictures in right here. <laughs> so, so just a super special night in yeah. the memory of him. And it's crazy that it was his 90th on the same year. It was my yeah. 30th. Just super crazy. So. I know. So crazy. And yeah, the anniversary of losing our boy Ollie too. Yes. So if you guys have seen that vlog, that was also so special. and. We loved that baby boy, and yes. we uh, we know that him and my dad are up in heaven celebrating today. And it's comforting to know that it happened on the same day in a way because yeah. it's just special thinking about them up there together. Yep, and we got to celebrate Megan this weekend. It was so awesome, such yep. a great weekend. But I wanted to end it by saying this: so I never gave Megan her birthday gift this weekend, <laughs> and so I'm gonna tell her what it is right now. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. So. We're actually going to go see Teddy Swims in concert. What? Yep. Okay. He's got a concert in April and we're going to go see him for your birthday, buddy. Okay, no, really, I'm going to cry. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Megan loves Teddy Swift, so. I was not expecting that, but I love him. Yeah, so <laughs> that we're gonna go. That sweet story got me already like on the verge of tears, so. Yeah. <laughs> you had to do it, so didn't happy you? birthday, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I know, it's Teddy gonna be Swims so fun. Teddy is incredible, so I am super excited to see him live. It's something Megan always listens to, to lift her spirits and uh, stuff, so it's a good, good, good time. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to stop. <laughs> uh, but yes, thank you guys so much for following. Remember to like, subscribe, uh, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, all those things. Thank you so much. Thanks for celebrating my 30th with me. Yeah, we love you guys. Thank you. See, See you in the, the next, next one. one. This is where I want to be. Nah, nah, nah. Never ever gonna leave. Yeah.